Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Duck and this is a channel update. We have hit 150 subscribers in the last couple of days. Uh, we're currently at 157. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Uh, welcome to anyone who hasn't seen me or hasn't seen a channel update yet. Really appreciate you being part of this. Uh, it makes me very happy. Um, people are used to, to um, YouTubers with incredibly high subscriber numbers like um, yeah, PewDiePie is out there in the stratosphere with his 40 million. I don't think anyone uh, compares um, him or herself with PewDiePie but even guys like like Boogie who has 3 million or Kuletin who has 300,000 um, those are big YouTubers um, but if you actually try to imagine the the number of people then it gets then it gets really really crazy and I think 150 people that's it's like um three buses full of people or let's say about five five classes full of full of um school kids or something that's actually not inconsiderable that's a lot of people that um have decided that my stuff is is um worth watching so um yeah thanks for that i'm incredibly happy We've grown exceptionally in the last month. I think we gained 45 subscribers, and that's that's just great. I really like how the channel is is coming along. I'm especially happy about all the um, comments that I'm getting. People are pretty active. I have a lot of a lot of you guys in my XCOM uh, series as soldiers, which um, gives the game a whole other uh, meaning for me. Having you guys actually um, in there together with me really really makes the game something else so yeah thanks for that thanks for the feedback that I'm getting um, there haven't been as many episodes on this channel as I would like it to be and that has a couple of reasons um, the main reason is I'm doing a lot of stuff in the background I'm still getting my my stuff together I have decided that I have to build a new PC to um, get rid of some performance problems and some technical differences for example i have found out that i i wanted to use shadow play to record xcom but um find out that shadow play splits my recording every 3.8 gigabytes and yeah it's not really feasible because it seems that it's using something in windows 7 to encode its thing um that's the reason windows 10 doesn't do that so i might have to upgrade my operating system and um Want to get ready for streaming so all that stuff has to go uh, has to happen in the background doesn't really result in video um, video output um, uh, to change the microphone setup that i had i had bought uh, something like a microphone stand over here well, you can't really see that but it's it's a long boom arm coming in from the side and it doesn't really work because my table is too big and too massive so I'm going to sell that table and, and I'm going to put a smaller table in here where I can use another another microphone boom arm. All that stuff takes um, some of my time so that is the one reason. We're also going to do a complete um, overhaul of the art style and of the thumbnails for upcoming series. That is going to take um, that takes some time, and the other reason is I have been sleeping incredibly bad over the last um, let's say a couple of weeks, and um, if I don't get enough sleep and I have back aches and all that, um, then I get incredibly grumpy, and when I'm grumpy, the commentary is not good. I have I have thrown a lot of episodes out that week <laughs> because the commentary just wasn't up to par. And um, yeah, I really have struggled to keep up this week, but I um, I have um, gone ahead and <laughs> find out that my problem really is the mattress. Um, so I've gone ahead and bought a new mattress and that should be delivered at some point and then I can get some good nights of sleep and then um, the output um, will go up again, I hope. Um, I finally started the war with the Cascodon Empire in my Distant Worlds um, series, so that's all good. That was a bit of a cliffhanger there where the series didn't um, didn't continue because I had that new tiered system. That's a thing. Um, 
and then we're going to have the 100th uh, uh, episode of Mountain Blade Boiler Thorgrimson. That's going to happen in the next week, I think. That's going to be a special episode. And um, Jesse asked me to make it one hour long, but I think I might actually do it um, a bit differently and make it 100 minutes. That might be that might be fun. We can really get something done in 100 minutes. Um, if that is too long for you, maybe let me know in the comments. I get the feeling that some of you really prefer long episodes, but... Um, try to keep to the 20 minutes with most series because it's just a huge time commitment if you see a video and you see that it's one hour and 50 minutes or something um, and I myself sometimes hesitate to watch a video it depends on my mood but um, I think that 20 minute episodes for some games are are the best thing. Obviously, I can't do that with the XCOM. I really don't want to cut those missions in half. That would just be would just be odd. And then, um, yeah, speaking of odd, Christopher Odd um, is doing a really great XCOM Legend Let's Play, Legend Iron Man Let's Play of XCOM. And um, I took him as an inspiration to actually end the episodes with the next upcoming mission, showing the roster. And then in the ne in the following episode, we can just jump straight into the into the mission that has been pretty nice for XCOM 2. It gives you a nice little cliffhanger. It ensures that you always have one mission, so that's that's all fine. Anything else? Yeah, there are a couple of series um, of new series coming up. At the end of March, Polaris Sector will release. Um, that is a 4X space game from the publisher of Distant Worlds, or rather their the sister company, um, so Matrix Games and Slytherin are in some way connected. That's going to come out. I uh, couldn't get any preview code because I'm still too small, but I'm going to play it on the channel because it looked really good. You might have a look um, over at um, the channel of Destastic, formerly Des24680. We did a pretty good preview. I think I might link that in the description. If you if you go there, um, leave a comment and uh, tell them that I sent you. That is going to come up and that's going to be a series because I think we're nearing the end of the Distant World series. That might be a thing after the Great Cascade and War. There's not a lot um, that I can do with the series. It has reached its conclusion in a way. Um, and then we're also going to start a new Age of Wonder series. That's going to be good, um, I think, because people have been, have been asking for it. And um, why shouldn't I do it then? Um, it doesn't look like a lot of people are still covering Age of Wonders. So I might fill that gap in a way and make people happy. A lot of subscribers want to see that. That's going to come up at some point. I can't really say the name because um, we are. my wife is working on the art for that and uh, on the thumbnail and all that. And it also depends on when my mattress will be delivered, so I can be ungrumpy again and um, yeah, start refreshed um, to make good commentary. And um, yeah, I don't want to throw out all the episodes all the time. That's a bit bad. But um, yeah, that's been it for for this week. So thank you very much for being a part of this channel, for being subscribed, commenting and just for generally being awesome. I hope you join me for the next channel update and uh, maybe see you in one of my videos. Thanks and bye-bye. Uh,